Hi everyone, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. So in the last video, we have done with the user registration screen. Now we will code the user login screen. So if the user is already registered in our application, user can click here. And when the user will click here, we will open the login activity. So the first thing we need is the login activity itself. So first we will create a login activity. So let's create an empty activity and let's name it login activity. And as you can see, we are having one, two, three, four, five classes now, and the number of classes will increase. So to organize the classes, we can create different packages. For example, we can store all the activities in this activity package and then we can store the API related thing in this API package. So let's select API and retrofit client and drag it into API and click on refactor. And login activity and main activity, we will drag it into activities. And this default response is a model class. So we will create one more package and we will name it models. And we will push it inside models. So our classes are organized now. Much better, right? Now come back to login activity. And the first thing here we need to do is we need to design the login screen. And I will do some quick copy paste here. So I will copy the content of activity main, all the contents. Let's copy it. And I will paste it into activity login. So let's change it to relative layout. And let's paste the thing that we copied. And we also have a background this one yeah now this time we only need email and password so we will remove name and school we don't need these information for login so we have email and password and for this text view login i will first change the id text view register if the user is not registered he will go again to the registration screen so here we will write don't have an account click to register and for the button I will give the ID button login and I will change the text to login and for the heading at as well login so we have our UI design ready now again we need to create Java object so let's come inside login activity and this time we have to edit text and again we have two buttons find view by id r dot id dot button login set on click listener this then same for text view register and again, we need to implement the on click listener. Alt enter implement methods. Okay, the same thing we will do. Switch v dot get id. If the id is login, we will call a method. If the id is register, we will call a method. So let's create the method here user login. I guess I do not need to explain these things. Now again here we will get the input values and we just forget to initialize these edit texts. So let's do it first. Fine. Now we will get the values.
and again we can add the validations as we did in the main activity so let's copy it we need email password and password length come back to login activity copy it so we have the validations as well now here we will execute the login process now as you can see we have our api call for login which is user login it is the endpoint and we need to pass email and password as the parameters if we want to login for example if i will send now email and password now let's send the request you can see error false message login successful and we have the user now to parse this response first we need to create a model class and you can see here we have another json object inside this json object so first we need a class to store this user and then we need a class to store this response so first let's create a new class and name it user and for the user we have what information we have id email name and school so let's define everything we have private and id now you do not need to use this annotation if you are giving the same variable names so this time i will use the same variable names then email name and school rest all are strings so let's create private string email name and school then we can create a constructor and then we can create getters so we have our user model class now i will create one more class and i will name it login response fine in the login response we have error message and user error is boolean message is string and user is type user so let's do it private boolean error private string message private user user make sure you are putting the same names for the variables as we have here in the name values or you can say keys again we will generate a constructor right click generate constructor and then getters and for the login api you can see every time i am returning this response if it is an error or not so if there is an error we can determine it using this error key or attribute so come back here and let's create an api call for our login so again we will use this form url encoded then we will use a post request and the endpoint is user login fine then we will create a call and this time the type of the response is login response so i will define login response here then i will name the method as user login and for the user login i need to pass email and password fine now come back to login activity and here i will create a call the same call and it is login response and i will get it from the retrofit client dot get instance dot get api dot user login and for this method we need to pass email and password 
fine now i will do the same thing call dot nq again this time we have only one possibility the error code is sorry response code is 200 every time you can change the response code uh, so you can design the api according to your need i hope you got the point so this time we will not get any error code in the response so we can simply parse the response so to parse the response we need to use an instance of this login response so i will create here login response login response equals to response dot body and the body will return a login response now from this login response we can check if login response dot is error and we can put a not here if there is no error then we can proceed with the login if there is any error we will display the toast and we can get the message from the login response object and then the length and then show So we have the toast in case there is any error. If everything is fine and the login is successful, we will store the user information and in shared preference or SQLite database. And then we will open the profile activity. Save user, open profile. But I will do this thing in the next video. So for now, I will just display a toast. And again, I can use the login response dot get message to confirm it is working now let's test this thing now click on already have an account and it is not working i guess i forget to code the main thing in main activity when the user will tap text view login we need to open the login activity and we can simply write start activity new intent this login activity dot class fine now let's try again so click here and we have the login activity now let's put some wrong value let's put the wrong password one two three four five six it is correct one let's put a seven as well now click on login and you can see we are getting the message invalid credential if i will put a wrong email then i will get user not exist and if i will put a correct credential then i will get login successful so it is working fine and one more thing i need to do is i will copy this thing and inside login activity I will complete this thing this time I will open main activity from the login activity and main activity is our user registration activity so that's all for this video friends I hope you found it helpful if you did then please hit on the like button subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit on that bell icon and if you are having any confusions or if you have any question you can leave that in the comment section below so thank you guys I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.